guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to take this 10 hour makeup into uh, nighttime. So I've been wearing this makeup for literally 10 hours. I think I put it on at like 7.30 in the morning and now it's around like six o'clock at night. It's been a really long time. I just got back from work, had some dinner, and I really wanted to film this video for you guys just to show you how to take your work day makeup into nighttime and to refresh your makeup and make it look like it's brand new. Um, I'm wearing the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This is an amazing long wearing concealer. It is kind of gathering around my nose a little bit, but it is still looking really good. And I'm gonna show you what I do step to step if I work on a Friday and I wanna go out to like happy hour or something like that. Love happy hour. <laughs> and I just want to refresh my makeup, make it look a little bit more nighttime friendly. Before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, ring the bell just so you are alerted every time a new video comes up. I am doing videos every Monday and Friday at 10 o'clock Eastern time, so look out for those. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I just put my hair up just because it's like 90 degrees outside today and I am so hot. I turn my air off when I'm not here and I just turned it on again, so I don't know what I'm thinking about doing that. I don't know, anyway. So I'm gonna start off with the eyes. Uh, right now I have a little bit of tongue pop and ouch from um, Blood Sugar from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And the tongue pop is still there, but the uh, ouch is kind of gone. I don't know what's going on with my skin lately. I've been really oily lately when usually I have very dry skin, so maybe it's just, oily lids I did conceal and set them so it's kind of weird anyway so I'm gonna do the eyes first and then we'll move on to the face and just refresh it as you can see I don't have a highlighter on anymore my blush is still there my bronzer is still there a little bit but it is still looking okay uh, for as long as it's been on my skin it's looking okay so I have two palettes here I have the misunderstood from Colourpop and the Disney uh, designer collection from Colourpop. I just got these and I'm just kind of playing with them and, and trying them out. I also have this BH Cosmetics palette from Supernova. These are all like fake shades that are unbelievable as far as pigmentation. So I'm gonna start and build up my crease a little bit and then I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a cut crease just so I can show you what these two um, palettes look like. This is the, like pretty much the princess palette from Colourpop, that's what that looks like. Really nice, it's, that's like a really nice travel palette. Um, I like that a lot, and then you have this one. The only thing I don't like about these palettes is that they don't have enough matte shades for me. They each have five mattes and a ton of shimmers, and the mattes in here are just not dark enough for me. I would love like a really dark brown in this one, and I just don't have that. <laughs> I just don't have that. Anyway, they're still beautiful. ColourPop shadows are really nice. Um, their cream shadows are really nice as well. So I'm gonna go in with the M330 from Morphe and I'm gonna go into the shade Devious. This is what Devious looks like right here. And it's like a, almost like a warm chestnut shade. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm making it all up. So I'm just gonna pop this into the crease and just define my crease a little bit just to give the eye a little bit more definition and build this guy up. Okay, so that, that's what that looks like. It went on really nicely. And then I just have this M504 brush and I'm just gonna put on a little bit of Triton from the Princess Palette. Is this, is this a Princess Palette? Disney Collection Palette? Sorry, I keep calling it Princess Palette. I'm just gonna um, kind of put this very lightly up onto my upper crease just to make this a little bit more gradient and blown out. All right, so that's what that looks like. You can just see it just gets rid of that like straight line in my upper crease. I'm gonna take the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer, one of my favorite concealers, and I'm gonna pop this on and cut my crease a little bit. And I'm gonna take this um, Urban Decay brush uh, from my Naked 2 palette. I love this for brows and I love this like brush to cut the crease out. I probably should use something a little bit smaller, but this one just works really well for me. And also this concealer is a lot lighter than my skin tone, which is kind of nice because that means like any color that's gonna go on top of this is, is gonna be brighter. Not only because of the concealer, but because it is really bright. And I use this to set my eyes all the time. All right, so I'm gonna cut my crease and then I'll be right back. Okay, so my crease is cut. <laughs> so my crease is cut. Um, as you can see, that's what it looks like. Uh, I wouldn't normally cut my crease just, but I'm doing it now because my lids 
our little oily since that one shade that kind of rubbed off so I am gonna set this just because of that reason if you're gonna wear your makeup this long and then you're gonna go out you definitely just want to set this and then add the powder I'm not gonna set it crazy but I am just gonna set it just so it doesn't crease I'm just uh, setting it with the shade tragic in the villains palette all right so I think I'm gonna go into Enchanted Rose from the Princess palette. I'm just gonna take it on my finger. If you ever like get put something on your finger and you get too much, just tap it on your hand because then that really helps you to not have fallout. So I literally just go like this. So I'm just going to take some and then I just go on my hand and just like pat lightly and then it just deposits some so that like anything that was kind of loose on my finger isn't going to come off my hand. So I really wanna do a video where I do um, like, a makeup tutorial on like Millie Bobby Brown, is that her name? Oh my god, I don't know. But I don't want to do it until I watch the new season of Stranger Things. Um, I have been really obsessed with this show called Dark on Netflix and I just haven't been able to like turn myself away from that to go to Stranger Things um, because the new season just came in and I'm obsessed with it. But I can, like it's so intense that I can't binge it because it's like I can only watch like one episode a night and then I have to watch something happy because it's so intense and it just, whew, it's a lot. So if you don't know what it is, it's, like, it's a German show and it is like about like time travel but like in a really well done way. Like it's not like time travel where you're like ugh, cheesy, it's just done really well and it's intense. It's German but it's dubbed in English, so you're not reading the subtitles. But if you like that kind of thing, it's so good. I'm gonna take this Profusion brush. This is what it looks like, it's like really tapered. And I'm gonna go back into the shade that I put on my lid. And I'm just going to focus this really in my crease and not get it into what, um, into the shimmer shade, into my cut crease. And I'm just going to focus it just to deepen that and make it look a little bit more dramatic. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of Poison Apple from the princess palette that's what it looks like and i'm going to swatch it for you guys really quick um don't be afraid of layering your shimmers um it's so pretty it's like a purple pink thing don't be afraid to layer your shimmers i'm going to layer a ton of them right now so i just did the enchanted rose and now i'm going to do poison apple and then i'm going to do something in the antifreeze so i'm going to do one two three it's a lot but you're going out you're going to happy air you're trying to meet someone you're trying to do something yeah, maybe you shouldn't wear this. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna put this on my finger and just focus this right here. So it looks so nice. I really like that shade. These shimmers are going on amazing. And I'm gonna go in with Fairy Godmother. In the pan, it looks like right here. I'm gonna take that on my finger again. It's all fingers today. It's finger painting on my eyes. And I'm just gonna take it and focus it really just right here. Okay, so that the eyes are done, I am gonna go um, under my lash line. I want to refresh my makeup before I start that. So I'm gonna do some concealer and kind of refresh the makeup, bring it back up to life. I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium, and I'm just going to put this on like I normally would, and I'm not, I'm just not gonna put so much. I'm just gonna put like a dot here, and I'm just going to focus it where I am getting like a little bit shiny, and where I am breaking up just very little around my mouth because my mouth has fallen apart. I'm gonna use a beauty blender and just kind of tap this out. So I'm gonna go in with some powder. I'm gonna be using the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. This is what it looks like. I have it in a different um, container just because I don't like the container it comes in because the cap is really small. Okay, so I'm just putting this on. I'm not gonna bake or anything because that would be disastrous at this point of my makeup life. <laughs> and. At this point of this makeup life, excuse me, does just this one. And I'm gonna brush this off and I will be right back. What I kind of did is brought the makeup back to stage one. So I don't really have any blush on anymore. I have a little bit of contour right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put more bronzer on, more blush on, and a little bit of highlighter. And then I'll be right back and then we'll go in on the under eye. Okay, so that is all done. I use this Alomar Blush Trio. I use my normal BH Cosmetics um, bronzer, and I used my Laura Geller um, Gelato Swirl. 
eyeliner. So let's go in with the under eye. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna grab my The Villains palette. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna use the same color that I have in my crease that's devious. It's just like that like terracotta shade. And I'm gonna use this BH Cosmetics brush, just like a flat blender. I'm just gonna focus this really close to the lash line. And then I'm gonna blend it out later with a lighter color. I'm gonna pop some lashes on. I'm gonna use this um, new ones that I'm trying out. These are the Kiss True Volume Pumped Up Effect. The style is ritzy. I'm gonna try these out. I've never tried them on before. I'm just trying it out just because I wanna see. Okay, lashes are on. I did not like um, these guys. I like these. These are from Ardell. They're a little wonky on my eye right now, but it's okay. These are the Ardell Natural 174. I like these. I just wish they had a little bit more curl to them. But I do like them. They're very comfortable and you could probably wear these to work or wherever. I did add a little bit of uh, Lancome Coal Crayon uh, in black on my waterline just to intensify everything. And I'm going to add a little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm going to use a little roller lash. I'm going to do my lip now. I'm going to use the ColourPop Lippy Pencil. 951 is the number. It doesn't have a shade name. I guess the 951 is a shade name. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this, and then I'm gonna go with the Huda Beauty Liquid Lip. Okay, lip is on. I use the I use the Huda Beauty um, Liquid Matte in the shade Bombshell. It's really pretty. I also use that lippy from ColourPop. I love the ColourPop lippy pencils. They're just a little bit too creamy, which makes them a little bit of a mess. But all in all, it's a nice product. So this is the final look. I just put my hair down for some dramatic effect just to show you the whole thing. I probably put on a bigger hoop and that'd probably be it. I'd walk out the door and I really like the way this looks. I love the way the eyes came out. I think it looks really nice. I like the way the face is looking. It's not looking too crusty or anything like that. It has been a long time. It's probably been like 12 hours since I've had this makeup on. But so not too bad if you were heading outside just to revamp your makeup and make it look a little bit better. You can always take off all your makeup and then reapply. I hate doing that and I just want to show you little tips and tricks. Always add a little bit more concealer. I don't think adding foundation really helps. It adds to the cakiness, but if you add just a little bit of concealer and some powder, it just kind of revamps you. And then of course, some setting spray always works. Okay, thank you so much for hanging out and watching this video. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys on my next video. Make sure to check out for Monday and Friday. New videos, 10 o'clock. Mark your calendars. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.